Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals examination course. We just finished learning about resource locks. In this Azure Governance Methodology module, we're going to explore what is Azure Blueprints. Azure Blueprints enable cloud architects to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that implement and adhere to an organization's standards, patterns, and requirements. Azure Blueprints enables development teams to rapidly build and deploy new environments. Azure Blueprint is a declarative way to orchestrate the deployment of various resource templates and other artifacts such as role assignments, policy assignments, Azure Resource Manager templates, and resource groups. So what is the process of implementing Azure Blueprint? The first step is to create an Azure Blueprint. Then you assign the Blueprint. And finally, you can track the Blueprint assignments. With Azure Blueprint, the relationship between the Blueprint definition and the Blueprint assignment is preserved. This connection support improved deployment tracking and auditing. And Azure Blueprints are different from Azure Resource Manager templates. With Azure Resource Manager templates, you deploy resources. They have no active relationship with the deployed resources. By contrast, with Azure Blueprint, each deployment is tied to an Azure Blueprint package. This means that the relationship with the resources will be maintained even after deployment. Maintaining relationship in this way improves auditing and tracking capabilities. Let's understand what is Azure Subscription Governance. Azure subscriptions are discussed in many contexts. There are mainly three aspects to consider in relation to creating and managing subscriptions. Billing, access control, and subscription limits. Billing, reports can be generated by subscriptions if you have multiple internal departments and need to do chargeback, a possible scenario is to create subscription by department or project. In Access Control, a subscription is a deployment boundary for an Azure resource. And every subscription is associated with Azure AD Tenant that provides administrators the ability to set up the role-based access control or RBAC. When designing a subscription model, one should consider the deployment boundary factor. Some customers have separate subscription for deployment and production. Each one is isolated from each other from resource perspective and managed using RBAC. And subscription limit. Subscriptions are also bound to some hard limitations. For example, the maximum number of express route circuit per subscription is 10. Those limits should be considered during a design phase. If there is a need to go over those limits in particular scenarios, then additional subscription may be needed. If you hit a hard limit, there is no flexibility. Also available to assist with managing subscription are management groups, which manage access policies and compliance across multiple Azure subscription. We will discuss about management group in detail later. Now that we have learned about the Azure blueprints, and subscription governance. Let's go and explore Azure tags in the next video. I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.